malevolent karma so close to a drama she causes fresh doubts in her cause disarray and she left him behind those to not in one mind planning to reunite with her fierce fiance but if you think it's time for a first to resign so close to the finish line you don't know him at all for heroes gather momentum on the break of the maggot on and thrall by the squall they put balls to the wall Rufus! Uh. Ah, there you are. Ready for Shishash? Uh, Janosh, there really isn't a whole lot of room on the trawler, and, uh... Yes, it's a shame I can't come. I would love to fight on the front line, side by side like way back then. Way back then? Well, early today then, but alas, it's not possible. <laughs> I have a mission of my own. Uh-huh, well, that takes precedence, of course. At this point, our organization is simply not large enough to take on the Organon. You think so? Therefore, I too will travel to Porto Fisco. I'm in contact with the group there that has also taken up the fight against oppression. The passage is already booked. We are going to establish the resistance shell north, right under the nose of the Organon. How does that sound? Uh, good luck? Thanks. By the way, I must ask you a favor in this context. When you are in Porto Fisco, you must definitely pay us a fish it. I'm certain that people will want to meet the spiritual father of the movement. We'll see. Here, you're going to need this. What is it? We have agreed on a new secret knock. Eh, huh. well, the old one was a piece of crap. Exactly. Nobody was really able to memorize it. Hmm. You know, Janosch, I've really got to go. Yes. Time for you to leave. Adventure is calling! So it is. It's calling. Will you finally shut up, you numbskull? At last? What kept you? Ah, uh, we'll never catch up to the submersible this way. It's not my fault. I was harassed by some bum. Where are we going, anyway? My Donna self mentioned Portofisco, so that's where we should go. I think we should first try to locate the signal from the submersible. I seem to remember there's a radio mast on Isla Watch It. Perhaps I can manipulate the transmitter so that our sonar will recognize the signature of the submersible. By then, Donna will be long gone. No thanks. I say Isla Watch It. Bozo is the captain, and he wants to go to Fisco too, right? We can head for the polar ice cap, as far as I'm concerned. Just as long as you finally agree on something. Enough. I will decide where we're going. Uh, Rufus, those aren't the navigation controls. That's my ear hair remover. Ah. So, that's Porta Fisco, the former metropolis of the Rust Red Sea. A real dump, even by Deponian standards. And what is that awful stench?
It fits. Hmm. Yes, it's me, Rufus. No, it's not. If you were Rufus, you'd know the secret knock. I know it. It uh, starts with N, right? Ha! Good luck. Hey, that was actually correct. Of course it was correct, you dope. Rufus, is that you? What are you doing out there? What do I know? Maybe I just enjoy knocking. Come on in. Janlish is expecting you. Rufus, pleased to see you. Janosh, wow. What you built up here is... It's not all bad. Yes, recruitment operations are running smoothly. <laughs> I must have underestimated my charisma. Or the fact that nobody likes being blown to smithereens. Tony? You? Rufus? Ah, you seem to have met. Number 26. This is number two, our spiritual guide. Rufus is number two? That must be a joke. Yeah. Why am I only number two? But now, we have one more than 25 people in our couch. You mean 26? Precisely. Although that is counting the three trained Dorvins, Ashley. And you're complaining about your number? You're training dolphins? That's my job here. Got a problem with that? They are torpedo dolphins. Ah. I can see how under Tony's care, even peaceful dolphins might be transformed into bloodthirsty implements of destruction. But what's the point of that? I mean, how can trained dolphins possibly help you to capture an elevator headed for orbit? We've got to work with whatever we can get. Which appears to be especially true for spiritual guides. First, we were going for flying dragons, but that proved to be a fatal mistake. That's what I kept telling number 27, but he just wouldn't listen. Well, look who came toddling after me. See, you've never been able to resist my animal magnetism. Keep it short, okay? I have a job to do here that needs my total concentration. Guarding dolphins? Keeping down my lunch. The a dolphin pool needs to be cleaned again. Recruit. Excuse me? I hope I misheard that. But, Tony, I am the leader here, after all. I have to make sure that everything runs smoothly, and I can't show you preferential treatment just because we used to be together. That is... Is there a problem, Rufus? I don't think you have your team under control, Janosch. Number 26 here actually attempted to contradict me just now. Oh, is that the fact? I must say, number 26. If the boss gives you an order, then you must obey. But... No butch, recruit! Oh, aye, aye, boss. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I was wrong. This is a lot worse than my nightmare. Oh, and by the way, I want my coffee black for the meeting, recruit. You cannot be serious. Janosch. Recruit! You're out of your minds. I am not your... Recruit! Oh, and don't spill any, recruit. You're digging your own grave. <laughs> yeah, whatever. It's worth it.
Drop and give me 20, recruit. Don't push your luck. Hey, this is Civil War, Tony. Every little bit of flab on your thighs could mean the death of one of our comrades. You miserable! Uh-oh. Hey there, uh, socially disadvantaged contemporary. Uh, is that necessary? Why, isn't that the politically correct term? I especially didn't say rancid bum, although it was very tempting. My name is Goon, and if you want to make fun of the homeless, you're in the wrong place. Hey, don't worry. I'm a friend of the little guy. The little guy? Yeah, his name is Wenzel. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, yeah. I'd almost forgotten. The lower classes don't understand the language of the educated elite. Fortunately, I'm well versed in ghetto slang. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Please don't do that. Hey ho, my brother. What's up in the hood? Please stop that. I haven't always lived on the street. I'm an academic. Oh, yeah. Now I understand. This is some sort of uh, social experiment, right? You've disguised yourself as a tramp in order to study their customs. Um, precisely. <laughs> Very clever. I almost fell for it. But not, not quite. I will admit, your stink is authentic. But as far as your behavior goes, there's a lot to improve. See, I'm very familiar with the habits of the average hobo. I could uh, teach you a few things if you'll answer a couple of questions in return. But no, no objections. I insist. We could practice a little freestyling. As a resident of the ghetto, you only have to master one instrument, the beatbox. Beatbox? That's very simple. Like this. Oom, a chew, oom, oom, a chew, oom, a chew. And now, you. Oom, a chew, oom, oom, a chew. Rufus got the groove. Rufus got the groove, yeah. Who's cooler than a platypus in hibernation? Who kicks ass in any situation? Who makes ladies faint and shriek? Can't be copied, he's unique. It's Rufus. Yeah, yeah, Rufus. Who's got style? Who is cooler? Who can fool her? Who's the ruler? Who is daring, never queasy? Who will soon be in Elysee? Um, Rufus. Yeah, yeah, Rufus. Baum. Baum. Hey, hey, hey. What? What? Huh? What's that supposed to be? Well, I thought I'd build in a break. You know, that's not thinking. That's pushing yourself into the spotlight. I mean, apparently there's no point in trying to teach you to freestyle. <laughs> Too bad that was one cool song, you bum. Smell you later. And remember what I taught you. Sure thing, my brother. Oh, and, uh, okay, wait, 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 wait. One more tip. Nobody likes a smart ass. Come in, Rufus. I have been expecting you. Excellent. My reputation precedes me. Not at all. The crystal ball. Tell me of your arrival. And it even knows my name? Actually, I heard you humming your name in the entrance. But no matter. You are late, Rufus. I, I was held up. Yes. I also predicted that. Which, strictly speaking, makes no sense. One more thing. I am going to greatly resent that you stealing my bananas. Are, are you some sort of psychic? I possess the third eye, yes. But I don't practice anymore. Then I dumped the coffee grounds on the carpet in the ante room for nothing? Well, 
Times have changed. Today, if you don't want to end up getting burnt at the stake, you're better off keeping dark forebodings to yourself. That's why I switch to couples counseling. Say what? You foresaw that you would foresee bad times, and so you gave up fortune telling? B b no, I give up my job in time. Therefore, I will never foresee bad times. And what will never happen cannot be foreseen. However, I did foresee that I would give up my job for this reason. Uh, I kind of wish I was back with Doc's time anomalies. Can you predict the lottery numbers? I could. Oh, come on. Tell me the lottery numbers. No. You do couples counseling now? Yes. For some reason, people are more receptive to bad news when it comes to their relationships. I don't want to bother you any longer. I have seen it otherwise. Ah, it is time. The time of the great banana heist has come, as was foreseen. You underestimate me. I can fight it. Go on. Accept your fate. No, never. Go on. Take them. Help yourself. No! <laughs> That's the way. Submit to your fate. <laughs> B -b -b baby goal. What was that? That's my new jingle. Hmm, <laughs> needs a little bass if you ask me. Hey, Goal. Everything okay? And how? Isn't it fantastic here? <laughs> yeah, well, if you're into squalor. I think it's wonderful. <laughs> Says the woman with brain damage. You coming with me to the fortune teller? He lives in the tent. Ah, oh, fortune teller. Wow. What are we waiting for? Last one, there's a rotten egg. Next year already? So it is written. It's because of the hat. Heralds need to breathe too. Oh, there he is. Hey, what were you two talking about? Nothing. Let us begin. So, what do you want? How do I prevent Goal from marrying Cletus? What? You aren't a couple? This is couples counseling. I only answer question relating to your partnership. Oh, yeah. L let me rephrase that. What does our future together look like? Tricky. I should ask the ball. I see that you still have a long, difficult path before you. Before us? Don't you mean behind us? Are you holding the ball the right way around? Um, I think so. At any rate, there is an arrow on the bottom. This side up, it says here. Oh, wow, Rufus. So there's still a long road ahead of us. That's great, as long as we're together. Ah, this is all humbug. You're holding the ball upside down. I'm afraid not. Here, you are welcome to take a look for yourself.
Where have you dragged me to this time? And who's that with the pipe? That's the seer. Seer? Um, him, actually. Oh, I sense a new aura. And you're about to sense a whole lot of pain. I'm not interested in listening to some esoteric hippy dippy nonsense. It's more like couples counseling. Like what? Come on, it'll be fun. And I was about to ask a new question. And, uh, what are this week's lottery numbers? I don't understand what this has to do with your relationship. L let me rephrase that. Will we be rich? Lottery winner rich? This is a trick, huh? Well, all right. I'll see if I can perceive anything in the ball. I see... That you will be rich. Oh yeah, I knew it! Rich in experience. Provided you survive all this. This is humbug. Let's get out of here. No, j j just a minute. What was that about our wealth? Oh, you will be rich. Rich in experience. Provided you survive all this. This guy is starting to drive me crazy! May I slap him? <laughs> yeah, that would be fun. But, uh, hold off on that for a sec. What was that about our wealth? Oh, you will be rich. Rich in experience. Provided you survive all this. That's enough. I can't take any more of this. What? How about now? We want to hear lottery numbers. Otherwise, I'll tell you what I can read from entrails. Oh, wait a moment. I haven't said everything yet. The ball isn't telling me the numbers, but it says they are written in the stars. That is bound to help you. Please, don't hit me. Huh. If this tip doesn't pay off, You'll be seeing stars. I promise you that.